as people try to put a shroud over truth. Well, you see. But the basic reality of God is plain enough. Open your eyes, and there it is. By taking a long, thoughtful look at what God has created, people have always been able to see with their own eyes uh, as such can't see. Eternal power, for instance, and the mystery of his divine being. So nobody has a good excuse. What happened was this. People knew God perfectly well. But when they didn't treat him like God, refusing to worship him, you don't treat him like God. You stop treating him like God. You get familiar with him. They trivialized, trivialized themselves into silliness and confusion so that there was neither sense nor direction. What do you see? There's neither sense nor direction left in their lives. They pretend to know it all, but were illiterate regarding life. They traded the glory of God who holds the whole world in his hands for cheap figurines you can buy on any roadside stand. God said, in effect, if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. It wasn't long before they were living in the pig pen, smeared by filth, filthy inside and out. And all of this because they traded the true God for a fake God and worshiped the God they made instead of the God who made them. The God, the God we bless, the God who blesses us. Oh, yes. Verse 26. Worse following. Refusing to know God, they soon didn't know how to be human either. You don't know how to be human. Well, you see, heartlessness and nurses can let you drown in your own fluid when they got what's in there because they're more worried about their job than you drowning in your own fluid in your bed. That's not human. Okay? Women didn't know how to be women. Men didn't know how to be men. Boy, I can go so far with that. That's not just knowing how to love, being tender, being gentle, being feminine, being covered, being submissive. Don't know how to be women. And men effeminate. The woman wearing the pants and spineless are moody and emotional. Men don't know how to be men. Women don't know how to be women. So it's more than the homosexual thing. Okay? They abuse and defile one another. Women with women. Men with men. All lust. No love. All lust. No love. Ain't no love. Oh, why don't they just be crying? That's for your emotionalism. Oh, they just want to love each other. Oh, you just got into agreement. Expect judgment. Or repent. And then they pay for it. Yeah, they're going to pay for it. Oh, how they pay for it. Emptied of God and love, godless and loveless wretches. That's why it's so much suicide in it. It's a lot of suicide going on, y'all. And this is why. Okay? Since they didn't bother to acknowledge God, God quit bothering them. That's what will happen. He'll get silent. You don't want him? He'll give you to yourself. When it's been his mercy keeping everything off of you, even though you ain't served him. And he let them run loose. And then all hell broke loose. What do you see? He let you have your way. Now all hell and broke loose. Rapid evil. Grabbing and grasping. Vicious backbiting. They made life hell on earth. In their envy. Wanting. Killing. Bickering. Cheating. Look at them. Mean spirit. Venomous. Fork tongue. That's not just mean. Double tongue. You speak it out two sides of your mouth. God bashers, bullies, swaggers, insufferable windbags. They keep inventing new ways of wrecking lives. New ways of wrecking lives every day. They ditch their parents when they get all old. And they feel they're in the way. They stupid, they slimy, they cool, they cold-blooded. And as if that's not enough. And, and it's not as if they don't know better. Everybody doing this knows better. They know perfectly well that they're spitting in God's face. They know exactly what they're doing. Which is why they make the little jokes about faking like they're God. They, they do all kind of blasphemous things. They know what they're doing. Don't you think they don't? Worse than that, they hand out prizes to those who do the worst things the best. Y'all seen that. Let's read Hebrews 12 and 1. The besetting sin. 